So in today's video, we're gonna be going over some new information regarding Bluepoint Games and their next title, which has officially been confirmed to be a PlayStation 5 title that is in the works, and it's most likely going to end up launching alongside the PlayStation 5, which is very exciting. So we have some information on that. We also have a little bit of new information about Ghost of Tsushima. It's not the biggest piece of information, but it's something that I think some people are certainly going to feel reassurance about when it comes to Ghost of Tsushima. The last thing we actually talked about in regards to Ghost actually had to do with the possibility of it being a PlayStation 5 game. So we're gonna go over that once again. But it says here that with the PlayStation 5 release date, controller details, hardware, ray tracing, and confirmation that the new console will use a 4K Blu-ray drive, doing the rounds and taking the lion's share of the press, one little detail that appears to be missed is that Bluepoint Games has said to tech site Wired that its next game will indeed be a PlayStation 5 title. More than that, the developer of such high-profile remasters as Shadow of the Colossus is massively excited for the advancements that both the new controller and the PS5 SSD will bring. So this is what the quote actually says. While a number of studios already had their PS5 dev kits, the controller prototypes began rolling out much more recently, and no one is ready to name specific titles they're developing for the PS5. We're working on a big one right now, says Marco Thrush, president of Bluepoint Games, which most recently worked on last year's PS4 remake of Shadow of the Colossus. I'll let you figure out the rest. That doesn't mean they're not exploring. The SSD has me really excited, Thrush says. You don't need to do gameplay hacks anymore to artificially slow players down, lock them behind doors, anything like that. Back in the cartridge days, games used to load instantly. We're kind of going back to what consoles used to be. So this is actually some very exciting news because we have been doing a lot of speculation recently about what Bluepoint Games what they're working on. We've been talking a lot about a potential Demon Souls remaster, and this is certainly something that has been a, I guess at the very least we could call a persistent rumor. If I'm being honest, I think it's a little bit more than obvious at this point that Blue Point Games is working on a Demon Souls remaster that will be launching alongside the PS5. It will be a launch title, and frankly, that sounds absolutely amazing to me. I would be pretty shocked by this point if whenever we do see their next game, if it's not Demon's Souls. Demon's Souls is a title, as we talked about recently, that I think would do really well for Sony and specifically as a launch title for the PS5. I do not think it would be the only launch title, but believe me when I tell you, if we find out that Blue Point's game here now that we do know it's a PS5 title, if we find out it is exclusive to just the PS5, it is going to move a lot of units. Demon Souls didn't really do too well back, I think it was, what, 2009 or 2008 when the game released, if I'm not mistaken. It really didn't do that well because from software, you know, they haven't, they weren't really known for their Dark Souls formula until they made Dark Souls. But... As most of you know, Demon Souls was essentially Dark Souls before Dark Souls. And we know that Bloodborne is a very popular game. We know it's a very beloved game with PlayStation fans. We want a sequel to it. But we also know that we only really want a sequel to it if we know that From Software is going to be the ones helming that sequel. And it doesn't seem like that's going to happen or be a possibility anytime soon. So the next best thing is seeing a remake from the ground up of one of from software's best titles it's it is a playstation exclusive you know it's worth noting that sony does own the rights to demon souls so that's why this could be uh, you know this is this is why it can happen and why also it's not really a big deal if from software isn't involved with it because everything's already there the formula is already there it's just a matter of modernizing it making it the best it can absolutely be and frankly as somebody who played the shadow of the colossus remake uh very recently i was extremely impressed by it and so it has me you know i'm a big dark souls fan i loved bloodborne i'm a big from software fan i'm really looking forward to elden ring i i'm really glad to hear this i literally made a video on this i think like a week or two weeks ago speculating that I think 
you know, this was when Colin Moriarty mentioned it in his podcast where he said there's a big unannounced title. He was very surprised that it wasn't announced recently at Sony State of Play because he's expecting it to be a PS4 title, but now, you know, it's pretty much confirmed that this is a PlayStation 5 title they're working on. And in my opinion, the big question here when it comes to Blue Point's next game, knowing it is a PS5 title, is it going to be cross gen? There, there could very well be a very specific reason Sony hasn't announced this game yet, even though they very well could, because you have to imagine whatever it is, it's probably pretty far along in development, right? They could have easily announced this. They could have announced it earlier this year. They probably could have announced it last year if they wanted to. It makes me think that this is not going to be a cross-gen game. Frankly, this is one of the biggest questions I have when it comes to the PlayStation 5. Are there going to be cross-gen games. And so that kind of segues us into the next topic I want to talk about, which is Ghost of Tsushima. This is a game that a lot of people have really, including myself, were really unsure, like, is this going to be a PS5 game? And anytime I've talked about it, I've made sure to make it very clear that it would be a very bad move of Sony if they decided to do this to pull Ghost of Tsushima and make it a PlayStation 5 only exclusive. The reason why that would be bad is because everybody who owns a PS4 is expecting it to release on PS4. It was announced before the PlayStation 5 was really even talked about. So it just would really be a bad move. Talking about this Demon Souls remaster or Blue Point's next game, that's a different situation. We aren't we don't know about this game yet. All we know is that Blue Point is working on something, but nothing has officially been announced. So Sony would get a free pass if they decided they want it to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. There wouldn't be any pushback because frankly it's to be expected, right? But Sony has come out here and let us know and reassured PlayStation 4 owners that Ghost of Tsushima is still a PS4 title says that, have we all managed to recover from that PlayStation 5 blowout? Okay, good, because here's another tidbit for you concerning what games we expect to play on the next-gen system. Of course, Ghost of Tsushima will be playable uh, on the PS5 via backwards compatibility, but according to Sony, it is still being developed as a PlayStation 4 game. Buried at the bottom of its own PS5 update on the PlayStation blog, President and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment Jim Ryan says, while there's much more to share about PlayStation 5 in the year ahead, we have plenty of blockbuster experiences coming your way on PS4, including Death Stranding, The Last of Us Part Two, and Ghost of Tsushima. Sucker Punch's new IP hasn't been seen since E3 2018, and with the likes of other PS4 exclusives Death Stranding and The Last of Us Part II taking up vital holiday and early 2020 slots on the release calendar, it was easy to assume that Ghost of Tsushima had been made to wait for the PS5. That doesn't seem to be the case, however. According to Sony, at least, the title is still on course for release at some point next year on its current gen system. Now, even though this was something we did go over when talking about the PlayStation 5 information. It is certainly something that is worth reiterating because, frankly, I've seen a lot of people get very concerned or acting very concerned or feeling almost, like, angry at the idea that Sony is actually going to attempt to make this a PlayStation 5 game. It, they're not doing that. They understand that these last three games, Death Stranding, The Last of Us Part Two, and Ghost of Tsushima, are going to be what closes out the great generation that we had here with the PlayStation 4 and, and the PlayStation 4's life cycle. Um, and to me, it almost really... The important thing to highlight here and what I want to end this video with is this kind of creates a situation that... I, I'm going to speculate here, but I feel confident in doing so that between hearing how quiet Blue Point Games is and how secretive they're being about their next game and also confirming it as a PS5 title without mentioning anything about the PlayStation 4... In the same time frame, Sony's reiterating these are the games that are still coming to PS4. It does make me think that Sony is going to have exclusive titles that are just playable on the PlayStation 5 at launch. Now, I know to some people this sounds like a given, but we do have to understand that things are being done differently this time around. Sony is opening up and making different changes, but one of the biggest changes, in my opinion, would be if they actually decided to have all of their games cross-gen. Now, when it comes to the idea of Microsoft doing the same thing, we still don't know. All we do know is that their big launch title, that being Halo Infinite, is confirmed to be cross-gen. So this is where we kind of have an opposite thing going on here where it seems that Microsoft is building their big game up that's going to launch alongside the you know, Project Scarlet. 
from the ground up for Project Scarlet, but it will be cross-gen and playable with all the Xbox One consoles. Sony seems to be doing the opposite, where they're letting us know that all of these games that we have left, like The Last of Us 2 and Ghost and Death Stranding, they are being built from the ground up with the PlayStation 4, and we know at the very least they'll be playable through backwards compatibility through the PS5. And that is a sign to me that because they're not outwardly coming out here letting us know that there's going to be cross-gen compatibility with, let's say, Blue Point's next game, that we can expect PlayStation 5 exclusive games. Some people may not like this. Personally, I'm okay with this because it gives people a really good reason to upgrade to the PlayStation 5. And I know that some people don't like feeling forced, but I love console gaming and I want to see the PS5 and Project Scarlet do well. I want to see console gaming continue to thrive. And frankly, I do believe that exclusive games do play a relatively important role in seeing that actually happen. But man, the idea of a Demon Souls PS5 remake has me, I know I don't sound like in this video, but believe me when I tell you, the day that gets announced, if that's in fact what's going to happen, I'm going to be overjoyed, I'm going to be insanely, thoroughly excited, and I'm certainly going to make sure to cover that game here on the channel, because again, I'm a big fan of From Software games. It's nice to know that Ghost of Tsushima is not going to be a next-gen game, as much as it would have been cool. I'm sure that, it, you know, we will get enhancements for it on the PlayStation 5, but it would have been very uncool for Sony to announce that game for PS4 and then not give it to PS4 owners. So I'm glad that they're going to do that. But that does it for the video, guys. At this point, I'm going to ask you to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you think that Blue Point Games could be working on something other than Demon's Souls? And are you excited to know that it is a PS5 game, whatever it's going to be? And are you happy to hear that Sony has once again reaffirmed Ghost of Tsushima is a PS4 game? Let me know your thoughts down below. Leave the video a like if you did enjoy it or found it informative. It really helps it out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. And feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.